Well, what's going on, everybody? This is part 19 of Bus Driver. It's brought to us by SCS Software and Meridian 4 Studios. Uh, today we'll be starting Tier 4, which is we'll be starting off as a conference driver. So let's get go ahead and get started, shall we? This is a continuation of my Bus Driver Marathon. That's going on in celebration of me getting full-time at my job, so... Let's rock and roll. Today we'll be uh, we'll be driving another MCI bus. This one is similar to the ones that uh, Metro actually has. So, except the door, there are actually two doors that open front and outward instead of just one. So. So this time around we only have two stops this time. And so for some reason it's uh I don't know, for some weird reason it's it's still snowing in this place. I think that they kind of change their weather conditions a little bit, but it looks like they don't. So. Alright, so we're getting on the interstate again this time, as usual. Um, just a tip, uh, most MCI buses, or these type of coach buses, are mainly used um, for um, highway travel. Now, in the city of Houston, we use these buses for parking lot uh, buses, where um, they pick people up from downtown or from the parking lot and then take them to the opposite place, from, you know, downtown or to a transit center or you know something of that nature so so it's about two miles I guess I guess it's in miles an hour I don't know I think it's in miles. I'm not really sure about this game because it's made by a European company, so it might be in miles an hour, it might not be in miles an hour. I'm not. I'm not really sure about that. So as you can see, it's mainly highway driving. It's really not too bad. MCIs are longer. They're typically about 45 foot. So don't ask about the uh, gas mileage on. So unfortunately, I do not know that. Okay, this is a this is tricky, so
Yeah, that's very difficult to do, especially on the keyboard. It takes a lot of uh, stopping and starting, and just a little bit of a pain in the ass to do that. But. Gather up some speed here. This is a uh, printer mine's been going good for the HMS. Remember, we haven't even gotten to our first stop yet. <laughs> Just to let you know. Still about a mile or so away. Oh, that was uncalled for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so much for my, uh, uh, my proper turning procedures. As you can tell, this is a pretty long route. Alright, we have made it to our first stop. Finally.
Okay, so we waited now it's the evening. Now we need to Guess we need to take him back now, I guess. As you can see, um, the overall variety of cars are actually quite good in this game. Fire trucks, trucks, cars, even other buses going other other different places. So, why do things turn around? For some reason it wants us to be in that line. I don't know. So as you can tell, these uh, missions are a lot, uh, a lot longer than the first, the first three tiers. So these are actually get extreme, extremely difficult here pretty soon, as they already are right now. These, uh, I don't know, I just think these, uh, streets they laid out in these simulators is very weird. Because all, not a lot of them really reflect on how real, uh, U.S. roads, do, you know, do, you know. Which we don't know if this is a city that takes place in the U.S. or not. It's just a made-up city, but still, though, I'm, like, thinking, okay.
All right, well, it looks like that is about it for this part. Next time, we'll be doing the Westminster Loop. So we'll be actually be doing a loop next time. So, so until then, I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see y'all next time.